Hello, and it's part three continued of the WordPress theme development series using the blank canvas of the boilerplate theme by Tidy Themes, known as Blank Slate. Leading on from the overview of the header.php in part three, we come to some CSS. First, to demonstrate, I'll just type straight into the header.php file on line 10 with wrapper test and to its closing div in the footer.php file to the right of screen on line 8 now back to the container div in the header.php file line 23 I'll write container test and to its closing div in the footer.php file line 2 view this in the site and refresh and there we see the wrapper and its closing wrapper and the container and its closing container. Now to write some CSS. So giving the wrapper a width and margin auto and to the site, refresh, and there it is. The site is now centered. Let's play around with the container a bit with the width of 50% and centered and view this in the site refresh and now the container has shrunk within the wrapper so now let's set this to something reasonable and just tidy up a bit and change the wrapper width and set the container to 100 and back to the site refresh You'll notice that I've removed the text of wrapper test, etc. and the container now occupies the full width of its wrapper, which of course it will do by default, even if the CSS width rule of 100% was absent. But the content is still right up to the edge, and so back to the CSS and add a little padding. Part two of this series created five simple CSS rules to outline the sites main structural elements of header, post, sidebar and footer and the padding for those here on line 28 just needs a padding left of 20 pixels to pull the content away from the edge and so back to the site refresh and now the content sits comfortably away from the edge returning to the CSS I'll add a comment for a heading of fonts and links and begin to style the site title. Give it a font size, color and padding. Refresh and notice that the padding top and bottom hasn't taken effect so in the CSS I'll add display inline block and back to the site, refresh, there. Now top and bottom padding is present. Next, to remove the underlines, I'm going to group the link, visited and hover state because I know that I don't want the underline anywhere on the site and give a text decoration of none and refresh. So that removes the underline from all of the links. Now I have a state on the site title, just a colour change. And refresh. And to finish up, a quick rule for the site description. So back to the CSS. Add padding. Refresh. Now the description and site title have some space between them. Well, that wraps up part three. In the next few tutorials on the header.php, we'll assign the menu location and set up the main menu, add a custom class to the menu, and dig a little deeper into the WordPress PHP function for the div element of site title that I touched upon in this tutorial. But in summary, a little CSS gave shape to the container elements of wrapper and container 
and began styling the header section uh, nice and simple CSS for this tutorial. But so thanks for joining me in part three continued and I look forward to joining you in the next of the series.